limit part limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos x by x 1 minus cos x by x at first you write 1 minus cos x equal to 2 sin square x by this is the important formula of submultiple angle. 1 minus cos x means 2 sin square x by 2. Now put the value, put the formula. Limit x tends to 0. This is 2 sin square x by 2 by x. Okay. Now, Now, to limit x tends to 0, sin x by 2 by x by 2 whole square. That means it will be sin square x by 2. Okay. But here is come x square by 4. To write extra, it will be extra written this will be half that means x by 4 okay if you break it it will be sin square x by 2 by x square by 4 this 4 4 will be half this for this come and that means this will come this is okay now this one is understand sin square x by 2 by x square by 4 that means you calculated it it will be sin square x square by 2 by x square by 4. This will be half. That means it will be 4. Uh, this will be, uh, you know, right here is x. Here is x. That means multiply by x. And this 4 is cut it by 4. It will half. That means 4. This 4 for cancel. x is cancel. That means this will come. Okay. Now, now 2 into this is 1 and this is limit x tends to 0 x by 4. You know, limit x tends to 0 sin x by x equal to 1. Sin x by x equal to 1. This is the formula. I put this formula that means 2 into x0 0 0 by 4 that means 0 this is answer that means limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos x by x at first you apply the formula of some multiple angle 1 minus cos x that means sin square x by 2 by x to into limit x by 2 means sin x by 2 by x by 2 whole square into it will be x by 4 2 into 1 into limit x tends to 0 x by 4 that means 2 into 0 by 4 it will be 0 this is the most important formula at first main formula of some multiple angle is here is necessary oh Okay.